Someone says you are the best. You are the best. And they are willing and ready to bring down their guards when it comes to you. Someone has realized that they've been fooling themselves all along by trying to avoid you. God gave someone signs that you were the one. They got into your lie. Anything was okay, anything was fitting. There was this spiritual connection, mental connection, emotional connection, physical connection. Everything was just fitting. But because they have this tendency of exploring and believing that there's always someone better, the grass is always greener out there, there's always someone higher, there's always someone great, they went about searching and searching and searching. And then they are finally and they, and then they finally and then they finally finally realize that listen, there will never be anyone better than you. You've been someone's last bus stop all along. But because they have the tendency of, you know, of exploring, they miss the whole point. And now they are grieving in their spirits, grieving in their hearts, and said, how could they? How could they? When God had given them all the signs, when they saw and they felt how everything was just fitting between you and them, how could they have thought that? How could they have bought the idea that? How could they have been believing that? There could be someone better than you. What God joins together, let no man bring, put us under. Beloved, before relationship comes in the, in the physical, there must have been a spiritual connection. What you had with someone was, was totally spiritual. It was, it was God who put, t who put it together. But someone felt that they needed more, that they could be someone higher and better and glorious than you. And now in their hearts, they are beginning begin to see that you are nothing but the best. Ah, you are nothing but the best. When they watch you, when they listen to you, when they, when they, they remember you because you've had a past a, a, a connection with them when they think about the past they just realize that there's something about you that can't be you know can't be seen out there and now beloved in their heart they are speaking so to Solomon 4 verse 7 you are all together beautiful my love there is no flaw in you it could be a woman, it could be a man. Someone says, you are all handsome. My love, there's no flaw in you. It could be that a, a woman left you or a man left you, it could vice versa, beloved. But that someone was immature, someone was still, someone, someone was still, someone still, someone had this tendency of, you know, always seeking for the more and more and more. They know that you're the best. Someone is preparing themselves. To come back, not that coming back, not not like coming back, but the truth is that you and someone have been reconnected in the spirit, and before you realize it, you're going to be man, you're going to be you know coming coming to that in the physical once more. It is not your making, it's not your making, it is God. It is God. God said He had to re reunite both of you again in the spirit for you to have this physical experience one one more time. I see someone getting married. I see someone being proposed to. I see any up with someone that you're not even thinking, someone that you had long forgotten about, someone you're not, you're not even dreaming of, even, even, even becoming reconnected to. God is reconnecting you back together. It is not, it's not going to be about you or about them. It's going to be about God. You're not the one to, to, to cause someone to come back into your life or to leave you. But God is the one who does everything. And it's beautiful in its time. Hallelujah. God is the one that adds, adds beauty in all things. He has to allow you to, to see life differently and compare things. God has to allow both of you to compare things. 
So by the time that he's bringing both of them back together, by the time that he's, he's revealing the, 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 the reality of things, you will learn to appreciate him more. Glory be to God. Mm. It's getting better. It's getting better. God bless you. I have been Amy Lady. Faith is our vehicle. Love is our strength. Put yourself together. Something beautiful is unfolding. It's unfolding. It was long forgotten, but it's back. Because God says so. In the name of our Lord and Savior, Yahushua Mashiach. Hallelujah.